Hi everyone, I wanted to show you the doll I found at the car boot today. It's uh, one of my grail dolls, one of the ones I've always looked for, and it's a Skeleta doll, but from Monster High. Um, and I found it for just one pound fifty, so I was quite happy with that. Um, I did find that she needed a good clean, and she got a bit of a bit of a glue seepage problem, so she got a bit of a sticky head. Um, so in this video, I'm going to show you what I did to help make her better and make her nice and clean. Um, she came without clothes or anything, but that's fine because she's probably going to get repainted because I've been after one of these to make some sort of skeletal demon thing anyway. Although I do want to keep the hair on this because I do like her hair. So obviously I had to work on, um, helping get rid of that stickiness so first of all i took a scrubbing brush and gave her a good scrub with some soap and um, some fairy liquid and water just any old washing up liquid will do this just happens to be what was in the cupboard and i'm just using a little nail brush just to scrub because obviously because she's a skeleton she's got all little gaps between her ribs and stuff and i wanted to make sure i got any dirt out she was actually pretty clean she wasn't too bad but i like to when I get them from the car boot, I like to clean them myself anyway, just to be on the safe side. Um, but she, to be fair, she wasn't that bad. Her face was a little bit grubby. And the main problem with her was the sticky hair. So what I did is I've got very slightly warm um, water. You don't want to use hot water when you've got a doll with um, a glue seepage problem because it'll just make it worse. Um, and what I've what I did is I put plenty of washing up liquid in her hair and gave it a really good scrub around and then a really good rinse. I was making sure that I didn't mess with the hair too much and also making sure that I didn't use hot water because hot water will just make the glue in the head melt and seep even more. And I was hoping just to be able to get rid of the residue with a uh, fairy liquid um but unfortunately that didn't work so I did have to do something else as well but as you can see here what I'm doing is I'm just really getting that um f that uh, washing up liquid like really massaged into the hair into all the sticky areas of the hair there was like a sticky clump in the middle and then this front was all like sticky feeling and I'm just making sure I got as much fairy liquid on that as possible. And then rinsed it off. Like I said, the, wa the water wasn't cold, but it wasn't warm either. Ideally, when you're washing your doll's hair, it's good to have like such as just warm water, like hand, like hand, like hand temperature, hand hot. Um, but obviously, I don't want to make the seepage any worse. So I gave her a rinse out again with the water just making sure I get all that fair liquid out and using this just as a chance to pull apart any little tangles with my hands her hair was actually pretty in pretty good condition apart from the gluey glueiness so luckily I didn't have to do a lot of work on um, getting rid of tangles and stuff I'm I'm ho I'm assuming what's happened is as she started to get sticky and stuff the they stopped playing with the doll and got rid of it so that's what I'm hoping um it looks like it was hardly played with. It looks basically like someone's took the outfit off and then got rid of the doll, really. Um, like I said, she wasn't particularly filthy or anything either. So I did try for a third time with a fairy liquid because I was hoping to avoid using the um, anything to get rid of the sticky just because I know I'd have to use a spray and I don't like using sprays because of my asthma, but it's okay. Um, I don't normally react to um, furniture polish, so... I was it wasn't too bad um I just made sure I held my breath and sprayed it and then um I was in a well ventilated room so I didn't breathe it all in so as you can see I'm rinsing the doll's hair again after going through the third time with the fairy liquid the first time was to get rid of like any sort of like dirt build up second time got rid of like any deeper down dirt on the like the scalp of the doll and everything and then this was to try and sort of help relieve the um gluey stickiness um but unfortunately as i rinsed the hair with the water i could feel the sort of tackiness of the hair come back so that's when i knew i was going to have to use the uh, furniture polish method 
I've seen this method used by uh, J Dolls UK. She uses this method to get rid of um, stickiness on doll's hair. With glue seepage, basically, all you can do is sort of try and get rid of the glueiness off the hair. And then over time, I'll probably have to treat her hair again because more glue will seep out. It's like um, A Thousand Splendid Dolls says, if you've got like a teaspoon of glue in the head then a te and it's seeping, then a teaspoon of glue is going to seep out. You've just got to put up with it until all the glue's finished doing its thing. Um, so... That's fine, it just means if I want to keep the hair on this doll, I am going to have to treat her again at some point as more glue seeps out. Um, you never know, I might be lucky and this will be the only time I have to use anything to get the sticky off, but sometimes you have to do it two or three times over the course of a few months and then eventually it stops all oozing out. So I've got some furniture polish once I towel dried the doll's hair and then you just have to spray a generous amount of the... Um, furniture polish all over the doll's head um anywhere that you feel stickiness um there was a general sort of very mild stickiness to most of the hair but there's some bits at the side and in the middle that were the st most sticky parts so what i did is i sprayed the polish on and then really rubbed it in into the uh, scalp and onto the hair um just to make sure I got the uh, polish all the way through the hair, especially on any sticky parts. That part there that I'm working on was particularly sticky. That's why I made sure I massaged the um, furniture polish all over that area. And basically you want to make sure the hair is saturated with the furniture polish. Um, pick one you like the smell of as well because the doll will smell of furniture polish for quite a while afterwards as well. You can shampoo the furniture polish out afterwards um, but I normally just rinse it out and then I'll just um, give it one more wash with some fairy liquid. So I tend to find the small remains of the polish but it does wear off eventually. Then you put the doll to one side and you're going to need to leave the furniture polish on the doll's hair for about half an hour. Um, make sure you wash your hands really well, get that stuff off your hands, especially if you um, get eczema on your hands like me because you can get really itchy from the furniture polish. So make sure your hands are nice and clean. After half an hour, then what you need to do is take some preferably warm water, but again, I was using quite... It, was, it wasn't cold, but it certainly wasn't warm water. And give you the hair a really good rinse, just lather up any um, polish residue and rinse it out under the running tap um, just to get off any polish, any um, glue residue that it's lifted. You just give it a really, really good rinse. And then what I did as well is I used this as a chance to comb the doll's hair. Like I said, I didn't have to really work on any tangles or anything for this doll. She was actually in pretty good condition. It was just she was a bit sticky. Um, but this combing through while under a running tap does help sort of get the polish and any glue residue out the hair. At this stage, I could already feel that she was feeling a lot better. Her hair was like almost feeling almost squeaky when I rinsed it, which means I've got the glue out. Um, then it was a case of putting on just a little bit of um, washing up liquid, like about the size of a 5 or a 20 pence piece in English money. Um, just to rinse off any residue of the polish because it it's gonna it's gonna feel nasty and a bit slimy if you leave the polish on, and also it does smell quite really strong of furniture polish when you do this. By rinsing it off with the fairy liquid, it does help to um, again remove any residue of glue that the polish has lifted away from the hair strands, and also it helps to. Um, reduce the smell of the polish on the doll like the doll now if i hold her in front of me i can only get a slight smell of polish it's really if i put my nose right to her head that i can smell it um the more times you wash the doll's hair the less it'll smell of um, furniture polish and if you use a scented shampoo that will help as well um but i don't mind the smell of the polish that i used so i wasn't too worried so i gave her a nice rinse Lots of uh, running water just to make sure I um, get all that fairy liquid out and uh, just really making sure 
through the full thickness of her hair that it's well rinsed because the hair on this doll is quite thick. And then once you've done that, you give the hair a squeeze and just give it a little comb through. Um, preferably it's already been detangled by now. Like I said with this one, it wasn't tangled at all. So I just gave her a little comb through just to make sure the hair was how I wanted it. Because what you need to do now is just leave the hair to air dry. Don't use a hair dryer or anything because a hair dryer will make the glue in the head melt and make it seep and just it'll just re-stickify the hair. As you can see, I gave a thumbs up because the hair was nice and non-sticky. So I wrapped her up in a towel so that it'll catch any drips off the hair. And as you can see, her hair's ever so slightly damp still, but it's not sticky anymore. So I'm going to leave her overnight for her hair to dry fully. And that's how I fixed up the uh, Skeleta doll that I've got and fixed up her sticky, gluey hair so I can keep her hair. Then all I've got to decide now is what I want to do when I give her that transformation. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video. Bye for now.